Hello and welcome to the Further Maths videos for OCR Pure Core. This is Sequence and Series 1 Summing Series and this is video 1.3, the standard formula for the sum to m n terms of r squared and of r cubed. Okay, so here this is the standard formula for the sum to n terms of r squared. There's loads of different proofs of this result which we're not going to go over in this video. But if you look at some of the notes and examples in the integral or in your, or in your textbook, you can find them. You can also prove this using mathematical induction, which you've seen in a previous video. This formula is given in your formula book in your exam. So we're just going to have a look at using the formula. Uh, I find it easiest to have the formula just written down so that I can remember what it is, remember that I am using it correctly. Okay, so here we're doing the sum from 1 to 20 of r squared. So that is going to be 20 times n plus 1, which is 21, times 2n plus 1, which is 41, or divided by 6, which is 2,870. Fairly straightforward. We can also get the standard formula for the sum to n terms of r cubed. Now, there's a nice little GeoGebra thing here. And if you follow the link, you can see here's an example of um, finding the sum of the first four cube numbers. Now, and here we have them drawn out as cubes. Now, if we rearrange this and try and make squares using all of these cubes, you can see that we end up with this square and each of the sides of the square has length n n plus 1 over 2 so when we multiply them together the sum of each of those is going to be n n plus 1 over 2 squared so if we simplify that we get this as the formula to n terms of r cubed again given in your formula book For more proof of this, again, you can look at your notes and examples in integral. And again, it can be proven using mathematical induction, neither of which we're going to do in this video. We're going to look at using this formula. OK, so here we have the sum from 1 to 10 of r cubed. And so we're going to have 10 squared, so n squared times n plus 1 squared all over 4, so 100 plus 121 all over 4, which is 3025. Okay, in the next video, 1.4, we'll be using the standard formula that we've come up with to find combined sums.